final game of the Firestone Tournament of Champions. Shooting first will be the man who has won two. Five players have done that in the past. So he'd like to become the first to win three, but he has to go against the tournament leader, left-hander Mike Albee. Shot number one. Leaving a 10 pin on the left lane. Any advice, play outside on the left and inside on the right. Let's see what happens. Mike goes cross lane, gets the 10 pin. Here he goes, takes a little time. champion. Last time Mike was the tournament leader was in the Grand Prix in Paris and he missed two seven pins in a championship match. Let's see what happens. Worried after that release. An 18 year difference in age between these two finalists. to put some pressure on Durbin. And it's giving them some trouble. And you can see how slick it was. He set mm -hmm. it wide. Now that was the same type of shot. He was playing for a strike. And this is where you have to come back. And what happens? Hoping to cover the 6-10 in the fourth frame. Yes, sir. Has to take a gamble. Forty thousand dollars has to just go, as we say, a rocket to the pocket. Four titles. Sure, he's saying finally. Powerful, powerful. It'll be difficult for Albie to catch him. Albie in a must situation. He has to strike on this ball. And Mike from Indianapolis. Uh... Hey. And this man, a very athletic competitor. It should be settled now because he's got $40,000, 90% in his pocket. Uh, won't show any emotion until everything is completed, but for the third time and for the first time, a three-time winner of the Firestone Tournament of Champions, Mike Durbin. Once again, the winner of the Firestone Tournament of Champions is Mike Durbin.